India has achieved a historic milestone in lunar exploration by successfully landing a spacecraft near the lunar South Pole. This achievement places India in a select group of countries, including the USA, Russia, and China, that have accomplished a soft landing on the moon. Importantly, India is the first country to land near the lunar South Pole, a potential location for future moon bases. The primary objective of Chandrayaan-3, India's third lunar mission launched on July 15, 2023, is to explore the lunar environment and resources around the South Pole. This region presents unique challenges, with temperatures ranging from 10 to 60 degrees Celsius, depending on the depth, and the possibility of water ice being trapped in permanently shadowed craters. Water ice is of immense significance for future lunar missions, as it can serve as a source of drinking water, oxygen, and rocket fuel. Chandrayaan-3 aims to conduct a comprehensive study of the lunar soil's temperature profile and chemical composition. This mission represents a significant step forward in India's space program, which began in 1962 with the launch of its first rocket from the fishing village of Thumba. Since then, India has made substantial progress, launching numerous satellites, rockets, and space probes, establishing itself as a prominent spacefaring nation. India's previous lunar missions, Chandrayaan-1, launched in 2008, and Chandrayaan-2, launched in 2019, provided valuable data and images of the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-1, in particular, detected traces of water molecules in the lunar atmosphere by crashing its moon impact probe into the South Pole region. Chandrayaan-3 signifies India's continued commitment to lunar exploration and its aspirations to contribute to the understanding of the moon's resources and potential for future lunar missions. The mission consisted of three crucial components, an orbiter, a lander named Vikram, and a rover named Pragyon. The orbiter remains in lunar orbit, equipped with the most advanced high-resolution camera to capture intricate details of our celestial neighbor. The initial plan was for the lander and rover to make a precise touchdown near the south pole of the moon. Tragically, contact with Earth was lost during the final descent, resulting in a crash landing on the lunar surface. However, India remained steadfast in its aspiration to conquer the South Pole. In pursuit of this goal, India launched Chandrayaan-3, a mission that essentially replicated Chandrayaan-2's lander and rover, albeit with several enhancements and modifications. On July 15, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 commenced its journey from India's Satish Dhawan Space Center. It took approximately a month to reach lunar orbit, during which it executed multiple maneuvers to fine-tune its trajectory and altitude. The most critical phase occurred on August 20, 2023, as Chandrayaan-3 initiated its final descent towards the uncharted South Pole region, territory no spacecraft had ventured before. The landing was an intricate and perilous endeavor. Several factors compounded the complexity of this mission. Firstly, there was a communication delay of roughly three seconds between Earth and the Moon, necessitating Chandrayaan-3 to rely on its onboard computer and sensors for navigation and velocity control. Furthermore, a lack of detailed maps of the landing site meant that Chandrayaan-3 had to utilize its own camera and radar to scan the terrain and deftly navigate around obstacles like rocks and craters. Finally, the South Pole region offered scant sunlight, compelling Chandrayaan-3 to draw power from its batteries and solar panels to sustain its systems and instruments. Despite these formidable challenges, Chandrayaan-3 achieved a historic milestone by successfully touching down near the South Pole on August 20th 2023. Shortly after landing, it transmitted its inaugural image of the lunar farside area. Additionally, the rover, aptly named Pragyon, meaning wisdom in Sanskrit, was deployed, rolling out from the lander's platform just one hour after touchdown. Subsequently, the lander and rover embarked on their scientific mission on the lunar surface. Chandrayaan-3 has two primary objectives. First, 
to showcase India's proficiency in executing a soft landing and rover operation on the moon, and second, to conduct an array of scientific experiments for comprehending the lunar environment and its resources. To accomplish these objectives, Chandrayaan-3 carries a total of 14 payloads aboard the lander and the rover, each meticulously designed to gauge various facets of the lunar surface and subsurface. These include temperature, radiation, seismic activity, mineralogy, and chemistry. Among these instruments, one of the most pivotal is the chastity payload, Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, aboard the lander. This ingenious device features a rod-like probe capable of penetrating up to 10 centimeters into the lunar soil. It meticulously measures the temperature profile at different depths. This groundbreaking experiment marks the first time such an undertaking has occurred at the lunar south pole, where temperatures can range from 10 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius depending on depth. The data amassed by Chastity will play a pivotal role in estimating the depth at which water ice is buried beneath the lunar soil, and how much of this vital resource is accessible for future exploration and utilization. Another vital payload aboard the lander is the LRA, Lunar Retro Reflector Array, equipped with eight mirrors that can efficiently reflect laser beams from Earth or other spacecraft. This technology is pivotal for highly accurate distance measurements between Earth and the Moon and for testing Einstein's theory of general relativity. Additionally, it can detect low-frequency radio signals from the far side of the Moon, potentially providing insights into its origin and evolution. The rover, Pragyon, also carries a set of intriguing payloads, including the APXS, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer. This instrument can analyze the chemical composition of lunar rocks and soil by subjecting them to alpha particles and X-rays. This analysis enables scientists to identify the minerals and elements present on the lunar surface, thus enhancing our understanding of their distribution and formation processes. Among the impressive array of payloads on the rover, one notable instrument is LIBS, short for Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy. This sophisticated device employs a powerful laser beam to vaporize a small amount of lunar material, subsequently analyzing its spectrum through a spectrometer. LIBS assists in determining the abundance and isotopic ratios of various elements on the lunar surface, facilitating comparisons with Earth's elemental composition. These are but a few examples of the scientific achievements realized by Chandrayaan-3 thus far. The Indian Space Agency has generously shared these results with the public via its official website and its X, formerly known as Twitter, account. These images demonstrate how Chandrayaan-3 is providing invaluable insights into both the lunar surface and subsurface, significantly advancing our understanding of our celestial neighbor. Chandrayaan-3's mission is far from over. It harbors ambitious plans and objectives for the days and months ahead. The lander and the rover are anticipated to operate on the moon for at least one lunar day equivalent to 14 Earth days. During this time, they will execute a variety of experiments and tasks, including soil drilling, sample analysis, technology testing, and exploration of new sites. Communication between the lander, rover, and Earth will be facilitated through the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter, which continues to orbit the moon. This orbiter will relay data and commands to the Indian Space Agency's Mission Control Center in Bengaluru, India. Additionally, the orbiter will intermittently capture images of the lander and the rover, as it recently did when it greeted Chandrayaan-3 with the message, I spy you. The Chandrayaan-2 orbiter itself boasts a lifespan of approximately seven years, implying that it will continue to circle the moon long after Chandrayaan-3 completes its mission. It will persistently transmit further data and images of the lunar surface, with a particular focus on the still largely unexplored South Pole region, a region largely untouched by previous missions. Chandrayaan-3 represents not just a significant milestone for India's space program, but also a wellspring of inspiration for all who dream of venturing into uncharted territories. It stands as a testament to the idea that nothing is insurmountable when there exists a clear vision, unwavering passion, 
and the resolute determination to explore the mysteries of the unknown. Moreover, it underscores the vast reservoir of knowledge that remains untapped concerning our closest celestial neighbor, the Moon, a world that conceals numerous secrets and surprises yet to be unveiled. Chandrayaan-3 has ushered in new vistas of possibility, creating avenues for future lunar missions, both from India and other nations. For instance, India has set its sights on launching Chandrayaan-4 in 2025, a mission that will endeavor to return lunar material from the enigmatic South Pole region for in-depth analysis on Earth. Additionally, India intends to forge collaborations with esteemed space agencies such as NASA and ESA to embark on joint lunar missions, further expanding our understanding of the Moon's intricacies. The Moon, beyond its scientific allure, holds the potential to become a future habitat for humanity. By comprehensively studying its environment and resources, we are priming ourselves for forthcoming lunar exploration and resource utilization. Furthermore, the Moon's strategic position as a gateway to deep space beckons, offering itself as a crucial staging point for missions that journey onwards to destinations like Mars and beyond. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey with Chandrayaan-3. If you found this video insightful and enjoyable, please show your appreciation with a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Stay tuned for our next exciting exploration.